What would you say if someone asked you to give up all your faults and defects in exchange for heaven? When we are asked to exchange our hearts with the sacred heart of Jesus Christ, it is just that, an exchange. We receive his heart in return for our love and devotion. Keep watching to find out how to give your hearts to him. Howdy and welcome to America Needs Fatima. My name is Adrian Fonseca and I am so glad to have you all here with me today. Before we get going, be sure to hit subscribe and click the notification bell. It does a lot to help us continue making these kind of videos. Uh, it'll also ensure that you never miss out on another story of Mary. What better way to express our devotion to Our Lady in her Fatima mission than to give our hearts to her and her beloved son, Jesus Christ? Perhaps you have come across many different images of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Have you noticed what they have it all in common? Yes, Jesus offers us his heart in all of them, usually by a gesture of the hand. But what other insights into the heart of Jesus do these images give us? Do they tell us anything about ourselves? Catholic Brazilian thinker Plinio Correa de Oliveira ponders these questions and says, if we were to form an exact idea of our Lord Jesus Christ, we could begin to love him as we should. In the 19th century, the Sacred Heart of Jesus was always represented as profoundly kind, merciful, and ready to forgive, but also as profoundly serious. Some of his attitudes towards souls were symbolized in his images. These express an overflowing of affection, but were never smiling. They always had a background of the sadness of one who had plumbed the depths of wickedness in men's souls and suffered entirely on account of it. And this is symbolized by the heart surrounded by the crown of thorns and wounded by the spear of Longinus. When we are asked to give our hearts to Jesus, it is not for any selfish reasons. It is an exchange where we are being offered so much more than we have been asked to give up. In exchange for our mortal hearts and fickle devotion, we receive the sacred heart of Jesus and all that inherently comes with it, a love that will never be tarnished by mortality and devotion that is infinite. Men must know that God is like this in his relationship with them. The sacred heart of Jesus and the most holy humanity of our Lord Jesus Christ is a reflection of the divinity and of God's attitude regarding the sins of men. Near those images, they were painted, engraved, or carved phrases such as, Son, give me your heart, as he pointed to his own heart. It was an invitation for an exchange of hearts, but as if saying, Son, have you not given me your heart? I am the master of your heart. Give me your heart. There is something special in this. In short, those images adequately symbolize all that he suffered in his passion on account of our sins. This implies a deeply serious evaluation of what happens in the souls of each man, of the moral seriousness of every sin of every man, and a prior disposition to say in man, who, more than a beloved son, who gives joy, but a sinner, who is pardoned. Thus the images of the Sacred Heart of Jesus fashioned by artists of a good school do not present him as joyful at all. Nevertheless, his heart was full of joy. When he looked at Our Lady, for example, or when he thought about her, his joy would have known no bounds. When he looked at Our Lady, yet another reason we should all turn to the wisdom of our Immaculate Mother and follow her lead as she strived and succeeded and offering her heart to her son. To be devoted to the Sacred Heart means to imitate him to the best of our ability, to be humble and contrite and adore his sacrificial love, humility, and purity. Our Lady has accomplished this most perfect imitation of our Lord's heart, and for this reason, we will also do well to imitate her Immaculate Heart. If you were moved as much as I was when hearing these words, please consider a small monthly donation to help share the message of Fatima with Americans everywhere. The simple truth is I can't do this without you. By joining our Children of Mary group, you will take action with thousands of other Catholics just like you and make a difference that can be felt around the world. Click the link in the description below to find out more. Stay tuned for our next episode as you and I go on a journey to discover what true happiness is and whether or not we can find it on this earth. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but I'll just say that I think the answer is going to surprise you. 
I'll see you then. Thank you for watching, everyone. May God bless you and Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle. God love you. Thanks for watching. To save souls, there needs to be more Fatima focused content on YouTube. If you agree and you want to help me make more videos, please join our special Child of Mary group. As a Child of Mary, you'll get a beautiful Fatima pin, plus inspiring reports on America Needs Fatima work to save souls. Click the link in the description below to learn more and become a Child of Mary. God love you.